So, uh, this guitar had a uh, new pickup system installed. Uh, but these two strings, especially the high E, has noticeably lower output than the other ones. Um, <coughs> the installer said that it was fine, but it's obviously, this is much louder. This G is much louder than the next two, and this one is definitely quiet. So, here's the saddle. I took the saddle out and uh, took it over to my amp and plugged it in and went doom 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 like that and I got took 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 boom 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 took 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 poke 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 this one was much louder these are much louder than these two um the pickup is defective absolutely now um this may have been specially built. I can pull this up out of here, which I've already done. There. I can get a little more out of it. Excuse me. Put this back in and see if we've been able to move the area of sensitivity. We'll be left with this little thing sticking out here. Uh, if we cut it off, it'll break the connection. The connection between the outer jacket, which is ground, and the conductor has to be complete. It is right now. That's why I left it sticking out. So we'll take it over, tune it up, take it over to the amp, and see if we've made any change improvement well it worked um, I plugged it in and no sound came out because <laughs> this was turned down I turned it back up and uh, balance has been restored but if you touch this it goes boom 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 so it needs a new pickup um, I don't have that one this one uses a uh, kind of a weird coax. It seems like it's got a flat conductor. It's squeezed down. Um, so they need a new one of those. So, could zoom in a little. Now, I uh, tested the transducer and found that the area all the way up to the B, the E and B strings, was putting out half of what the other uh, strings were. And I pretty much determined that it's just damaged. Now these things are uh, basically Kynar insulated coaxial cable and they're terminated with the conductor soldered to this uh, shielding it's a woven shielding um, my theory is that the solder crept up and uh, interfered with the insulator the insulator is the transducer it's most likely Kynar, PVDF. Um, so, it's just a length of coaxial cable. <laughs> so I pulled it up through more and let it stick out the end here, put it back together and got rid of the dead spots. And it's now really nice and even and much more powerful on these two strings than it was. But this is still active and you can't have it sticking out. So what I need to do is there's a hole here where that thing comes up through. I need to draw another hole right in the same place on the treble side where this end is going to stick back down through and everything will be fine. So uh, 
the last thing I need to do is to make sure of where this hole was drilled. Did it hit a brace? And if I drill this hole, will it hit a brace? Um, I have ways of figuring that out, but we're making good progress. It took me an hour or two to figure out that all I had to do was drill that hole. I'm getting old. Well, where this hole is drilled is fine. There is no brace. Right under here is a microphone uh, or a sensor of some kind. I think it might have been, it's either a part of this transducer system or a previous one. And I don't know the answer to that, so I'm going to stop. One solution is to simply replace this with one that's well terminated. This transducer isn't right. And it wasn't right when it came to me. Two people have tried to make it work. And it can't because it's not functional basically right there. Uh, but I don't want to mess with this. This is a professional grade guitar. I'll talk to the owner and see what we want to do. So, a couple of other things. This thing is flat. This is starts as coaxial cable. But you can see that this conductor looks flat. Uh, like it's been smashed to get it down. Um, 20 or 30 years ago, they came up with Kynar PVDF Pi, uh, anyway, PVDF, polyvinylidene fluoride. And uh, it's a Teflon derivative capable of being uh, molded and applied where Teflon can't. It's tougher. I've designed cable assemblies using Kynar insulators. It turns out to be piezoelectric. This is a piece of uh, coaxial cable. This is the shield. There's a conductor inside. Then it's insulated, just a piece of wire. The conductor's the wire, the insulator's Kynar. So this whole thing is a pickup. And it could be made in a spool of 100 to 1,000 feet, chopped up, and it has to be terminated. This is the return circuit, the ground circuit, the shield. It's soldered to the conductor that's inside. And that's what brings the signal to the uh, amplifier. The trouble with these is, is they don't put out a lot of power. A lot, of, not a lot of voltage. I don't use them. I use these. This is a slimline pickup. It does not require a preamplifier, a battery, or anything else. Anyway, <clears throat> this stuff comes round, and that one's flat. And when I look back here, it's still round. So I don't know if it's part of their process to flatten it, but. There's a microphone glued to the top under here that looks like it's also the preamp, so I can't put a return hole here. Um, I'm giving up on this. I, I, uh, it ain't my thing. I can do it, but I don't like doing it. And somebody else has started this. I'm going to leave it alone.